Hi guys, welcome back to another fragrance video on this channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. Now in today's video I want to talk about the fragrance Le Sable Rose by Louis Vuitton which is a fantastic rose oud fragrance that has an insane quality to it and in this video I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about it. But first of all if you are new and you haven't subscribed to this channel welcome to my channel my name is Kai and in these videos I talk about men's skincare, hair care, beard care and fragrance. So if you're new and you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe the button is just below this video so first of all this is probably my favorite oriental fragrance by the house of Louis Vuitton they have a couple of oriental fragrances in their lineup which are all great to my nose so the first one I tried was Ombre Nomade which is a leathery fragrance with some kind of fruity top note that reminds me very much of Tuscan leather by Tom Ford and now this one is a rose oud fragrance, meaning that it has a strong oudy base, so a strong woodiness to it, some resinous notes, and then it's rounded off by a fantastic rose accord, which is in this case really, really nice. So very well done in my opinion. How did I get to this? I'm currently working on a top 10 or top 15 Rouge à Parfums video. I'm a big fan of the Rouge à Parfums fragrance United Arab Emirates and I got to try Les Sables Roses last week and upon first smell I was like well this smells really really high quality and given that it's only about a third of the price of the Rouge à Parfums fragrance I think it's really insane what uh, this actually can do because first of all it smells really very quite natural. Now with rose we always have the problem in the EU that um, you cannot use too much of a pure rose oil in a perfume because it's limited by some fragrance association thingy so you're not allowed to use above a certain amount of rose and therefore in my opinion it's really hard to get an authentic rose smell because uh, most of the rose smells are really kind of synthetic and in this case it smells really very natural. So at some point the rose in this perfume reminded me a little bit of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir which is a rose patchouli fragrance and I think it really has that same dark rose quality. So it's not a sweet rose, it's not a bright sweet jammy type of rose, it's more of a dark resinous note and um, that's really what Tom Ford Noir de Noir was all about for me, but with patchouli, and uh, this is kind of a similar thing, at least uh, when it's projecting around you, the projection is really like Tom Ford Noir de Noir, but with oud instead of patchouli. But still, if you smell it on your skin, it smells really very, very natural. It's almost like some kind of opulent body lotion type, so it really blends very well with your skin, and it also lasts for quite some time. And the projection is kind of different, so the projection is really dark and and very exclusive and um, even better than the Tom Ford Noir de Noir. But when projecting, it's really a dark rose oud note. However, to my nose, this is a fragrance that really plays the oud note also quite strongly. So it's not only the rose that's, um, that's noticeable, it's also quite a noticeable oud note in the background. Um, especially if you smell it on your skin, you will definitely notice the oud in the background and that's really quite nice, especially for the price point. And it really does a lot of things right, especially for a price of around 300 bucks for 100 milliliters, which is um, awesome actually. So really very well made. In terms of longevity and projection, I think you get around seven to eight hours out of this um, with a projection time of around three hours. So after three hours, the fragrance slowly dies down and after seven to eight hours, it will be, well, mostly gone from your skin. Although that's really quite difficult to tell because as I said, it blends really well with your skin and um, this, this makes it really hard to tell if it's really gone or if it's just blended um, entirely with your uh, skin chemistry. But anyways, guys, I can totally recommend this one. To me, it's my favorite fragrance from the Louis Vuitton house. Um, I think it's even better than Ombre Nomade, which was a little bit icky to my nose. So it was a little bit synthetic. And I think this one, since it smells so natural, is really far ahead of, um, yeah, Ombre Nomade. So Les Sables Roses by Louis Vuitton is definitely a must try for me. 
if you like rose oud fragrances, if you like oriental fragrances, or if you like floral fragrances with a woodsy base, I would definitely recommend to you to check it out. It doesn't really matter though if you're a man or a woman, because this is, in my opinion, perfectly unisex. So now my question to you is, have you tried any of the Louis Vuitton fragrances? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm happy to see you guys next time. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time and bye-bye.